Mr. Drikas, right here. What's up, baby? What's up, man? Uh, first of all, congratulations on a, a real hard fall win. So I guess what are the emotions and physically how are you feeling after that fight? Um, man, the emotions in that fight was, it was 50-50. I had to keep my composure because a lot of people don't know that me and Abu was scheduled to fight like probably like eight months ago. And I did let my anger get a little bit over me a little bit. Um, but I had to remember like, hey man, you let your anger get over you, you're gonna get caught by something. That's what happened in the first round. I let my anger get a little bit over me in the first round. And he caught me, but I wasn't dazed, I wasn't stunned. Um, it just, like, I, you know everybody, how it goes. It, it, it catches you off guard and that was it. But like I tell a lot of people, man, it, it's part of the game. So when you said you had to let your anger out in there or you had to like keep the anger from coming out. Is that because like he pulled out of the first fight and that was that bothered you when the first yeah, fight was because at the end of the day, I uh at the end of the day is it's a job. It's our job to fight. And if I feel like you back out on a man when he's preparing for you for six months, I feel like you know you, you shouldn't do something like that. You feel me? You should stay going there fighting with Nick's and that personal, you know, whatever going on in your life, you still should get in that ring because this man is, you know, doing the same thing, trying to provide for his family and everything else. So I tell, like, I, I took it personal, but at the end of the day, I had to remember this was business. So when his when they offered this fight again, were you like wary that he might pull out again, or were, were you excited to finally get your hands on this guy? Man, I'm gonna be for real for you. I really did thought he was gonna pull out the fight. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you know that emotion did get to me a little bit too. But like I said, at the end of the day, I had a feeling he wasn't, and I just had to come to my senses that hey, man. You got to stay composed. Like I'm a composed fighter, and I did let my anger get just the best of me, just a little bit. So now, after two fight camps for this guy, is and you're you're passing. Did the fight play out like you expected after you know all of these months of prepping? Mm, no, I didn't. I was looking for the finish, but like I tell people, if the finish ain't there. I'm not fun to fucking put myself in a a, a bad position to get knocked out, submitted. I kept my composure when he caught my kick and threw an overhand a few times at me. You know. Oh, go straight to your jujitsu when you're wrestling, you know, fight back, you know, boom, 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 boom. And that's what really, like I told myself, like, bro, you got to keep your composure because if you were letting your anger get over you, you probably would have got knocked out, you know, TKO'd or something like that. So I just had to come back to my senses real quick. What was he saying to you at the face off yesterday? Because it looked like he was talking to you or just waving your finger. I don't even know. All that putting your finger in my face, where we're from, you, you don't put the finger in the face. Uh, unrelated to this fight, is that the Majin emblem ta tattooed on your stomach? Like yes, right? Majin, yes. I'm a big, huge anime fan. A lot of people don't know that, but I'm a I'm a huge anime fan. Is that the uh, nine-tailed nine symbol? Yes. On the top of your head? You know, like, like everybody don't know, like, if you watch Naruto, you, everybody know he got, like, five different levels, you know, and right now I feel like I'm still, like, you know, trying to unleash this nine tail, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We'll talk after. All right, bet. <laughs> did, uh, did he pull your head? Man, he yes, he pulled my hair on a few occasions, but you know, I you know, it's part of the sport. You know, I just kept my composure. That's what pissed me, really pissed me off when he did that. You know, um, I just I just had to keep my composure. Because I was surprised, right? He pulled your hair, and then afterwards, you were pretty gracious about talking to him and stuff like that. Do you just put it down to a fight to fight, or were you just it's part of your maturity? You have to just be like, okay, let it go. Yeah, I just went. I just went with the flow. You know, it's just something I I, I do. Like you know, if, in fights, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a striker. But if it doesn't go as how I want to plan it in my mind, I'm just I'm just go with the flow. I'm gonna have to just keep my same ones and twos, threes and fours in a row because as soon as I start misplacing stuff, it's 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 it's, it's, it's just gonna go down. But you know, chakra, you know, to um, um Abu Dhabi for letting me, you know, come out here and show everybody. You know, I'm not I might not be saying it right, but I just want Abu Dhabi to know that I really do thank them for all of them for letting me come out here, though. Thank y'all.